by the time they go to grad school, they're really ready. They remind me of the kids in, the kid in high school. When I first got the computer, remember I had a little computer that you had a foam modem. God, that's a long time and I ago. I had to dial the yes, numbers. Yes, and it would go. Well, the, this kid who just got out of bed and ran into the school to stand outside that, uh, never washed never brushed his teeth, never combed his hair, just threw on clothes and came. He listened at the door, Jim, at the lock on the door, and figured out the telephone call. <laughs> so you could count the, the like, shh, shh. Yeah, I don't know how he did it, but he did it. We were talking this morning about how things have progressed, and Judy was telling me, she remembered when, or Michael was telling me one time, he took Josh someplace, Josh was about seven or eight, he said. And he said, Josh, can you go call your mom? Go to that store and call your mom. So Josh went in and he came out and he said, I didn't see a phone. Michael took him back in and he said, here's the phone. He looked at it and he goes, I don't know how to use that. It was a rotary phone. Oh. <laughs> yeah, things were changed. We sure had a rotary phone for a long time. We had a rotary phone. 7804478 or Seven eight four three three seven eight. That was, was Jack. Alan. And That's right, Jack and June. Yeah. And it wasn't seven eight. It was state. Yes. Four three three seven eight. And there were no area codes. Do you no. Remember that? And there was. I remember there was state was one of the exchanges. There was Zenith. Do you remember that? Yeah. X E something. What were the other ones? Can you remember any of them? No. Mm -hmm. I explained that to my students of how things have changed just over. You know, 30, 40 oh, years sure. when there were no no area codes, there were letters, and that was it. Right. Well, go back further, and they had Went to through. crank. Right, and you had to go through an operator. Right. Okay. Yeah, sometimes and I will find videos. it was a community phone number. Well, I remember party lines? Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah we yeah. had a party you could. That's right, and you could listen to somebody talking, but it was kind of an almost an honor system, right? If you picked well, up yeah. the phone and somebody else was on, you didn't eavesdrop on their conversation. No, no, sure. Yeah. Wasn't well, that fun? Kind of, that wasn't all that long ago. Doesn't seem like it. I remember a telephone number until I guess I haven't thought of it in a long time. When my, when my the big house. Yeah. The big house in there. Jeez. What the hell was it? From your one in New York? Yeah. Oh my goodness. I used to remember now I I haven't thought about it in so long. So it'll come. Yeah, it'll come. Oh yeah, if you just actually did, that's what we were talking about with, with the puzzle, right? If you just don't think about it, we were talking about how you, if you just walk away from something like that, all of a sudden you come back and your brain somehow is sorted it out. Oh, speaking of puzzles, I cut out the New York Times for you. Ooh, but good, good. Which, ooh, this is a Saturday. Saturday one, yes. We could work on that one together, that'd be fun. I looked at it, there's anything well, I know. But when you work together, Vicki and I find that when you work together, even if you go through the whole thing and you go, I don't know anything. If, as soon as you get one, then the other person goes, well, what about this? And well, I got yeah. one little word in there. Oh, there you go. Sometimes it helps just to put in the S's where they go. Yes, I do that. The for plurals. Sure. Mm -hmm. Or the ERs when you know something ends or with I-N-G. Right. And just sticking those in somehow helps you. Yeah. Well, we can do that. What the hell was that telephone? We have to also work on the computer. Yes. Today or tomorrow. 